uh, as mentioned earlier, I'm going to present uh, the details of high yielding rice varieties uh, with reference to the seasons and uh, various agroclimatic zones of Tamil Nadu. It's not moving. Okay. So before going into the uh, details of the uh, varieties, I would just to give an introduction that uh, uh, for the past two, uh, one decade, no, I have taken the statistics from 2007 to 2018. Uh, when I look into the uh, yield level, that is the productivity of uh, uh, rice grains 10 years ago and now what we get, it would be still more what I have projected, it will be more than 3.6. And you see a, a very demarcated increase over 10 years. In the past one decade, uh, we have achieved at least one ton per hectare. This is with reference to rice. In rice, uh, we have achieved in Tamil Nadu one ton increase in productivity over 10 years. So obviously, that is mainly due to the varieties combined with the appropriate technologies. And it is not, so you know, uh, because we have, we were able to, together, it's a combined teamwork with that. So from research point, researcher side, extension side, KVK side, and the Department of Agriculture side, we have achieved, it's not a, a small number to achieve uh, one ton per hectare with that. Uh, farmers are able to get 16,000 per he hectare, additional income of 16,000 per hectare. So uh, that is the, uh, what do you call, that is the uh, result or the fruitfulness of the uh, varieties that has made the farmers to realize higher income, of course, combined with improved uh, agro techniques. Uh, similar in case of uh, uh, millers, uh, we have increased 1.5 tonnes per hectare with which the uh, income has got increased to 31,000. And also pulses, uh, we, we have to have a serious look onto this, because even though it is meant for rice, uh, we have not made that much jump in uh, pulses productivity. It is only uh, 350 or 360 kg. So one of the major reasons which we have found out is, uh, one is most of them are raised in rain-fed conditions Another one is drastic reduction in the area under red gram. You know, uh, raising red gram in one acre is equivalent to raising black gram or green gram in five acres. So the productivity of red gram is quite high. But uh, especially this, uh, so I take this opportunity to sensitize the KVKs from uh, KVK at the uh, Vellur, Tiruvannamalai, Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri, Salem. So please find the possibilities to expand the area under red gram too. It's our traditional crop. Similar in case of oil seeds, almost we have uh, increased 900 and, uh, 950 kg per hectare with which the farmers have uh, realized an additional income of 19,000 per hectare. So all these advancements or all these uh, benefit aspects have been made true because of the high yielding varieties raised with appropriate agro techniques. And coming to rice, you know, so the potential yield, so even though it is even five tons, six tons on an average, considering both uh, rain fed and irrigated, uh, we have uh, arrived at the uh, value of 4.5 tons per hectare with the existing varieties. But still actual farmers yield as per the recent statistics, it is only 3,500 kgs. At most one ton per hectare, there is a gap. So one of the main reasons which we can contribute is due to the adoption of newer variety is still at lower pace. Even though compared to other crop varieties, uh, adoption of new varieties in rice is more, still it needs to be given a push. You just see uh, rice varieties, you know, see all the uh, scientists working in uh, uh, KVKs uh, pretty well know, we release varieties one after other unless it is uh, proving a minimum of 10% increased yield across the environment. So there is a definitely yield advantage I need not elaborate, you would have experienced by your own while, while you are conducting the FLDs. Now, when you have a look at the varieties, you know, see whatever varieties we are cultivating and in the seed chain, if you see, 
81% of the varieties which are cultivated as of now in Tamil Nadu are very old, more than 10 year old. And within five years, if you look into it, it is hardly 19%. So what I want to convey here, if we are able to saturate this entire circle, entire Tamil Nadu with the newly released varieties, okay, within five years uh, uh, period, uh, we would be achieving the highest. So here, even though it is 4.5, I have given it as 4.3, as giving some uh, unexpected negative allowances for unprecedented rains or uh, damage due to climate change or uh, a sudden eruption of pest and disease. So the main message what I want to convey here is, so as I uh, mentioned earlier, you are the ambassadors, you are the real uh, uh, field people who uh, convince the farmers with our technologies. If you uh, wish or you plan meticulously, this uh, green portion could be uh, full of our uh, varieties with uh, red, uh, less than five year old. So th that should be the uh, major task. Here, what I would like to suggest here is, see, uh, being you are a district level officers, uh, you can just uh, make uh, an analysis block wise. So, you know, since uh, in which block is uh, cultivating the old varieties. So we have to pick out those blocks and we have to make the FLDs in those regions to consider means the farmers so as far as rice is concerned so the major task uh, with the uh, kvks in uh, nida mangalam and sikkal of course i guess there is no kvk in tanjavur so we have to make a serious look into this and uh, uh, so as far as possible we have to replace the old varieties with the newer varieties they are better than the old varieties but there is a myth among the farmers because they have not experienced uh, uh, any difficulty in growing the older varieties. They want to be risk-free so that only they are going ahead with the same varieties. If we are able to convince them, there is ample scope to replace those old varieties with the new varieties with the good efforts of the KVKs. So this is my first request to all the KVKs. So coming to the varieties and major rice growing areas, districts, you know, of course, obviously, except in Neil Greece, all the districts are engaged in rice cultivation. Anyway, based on the area and the rice, I have highlighted the highlighted such districts. And if you take Sornavari, Kar, Kurvai, of course, this season is almost in the midway. So for this season, almost all the delta zone, and of course, in southern zone, Kanyakumari and part of Tirnal Valley, we have this particular uh, farmers are adopting this particular uh, 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 season. They are growing crop during this particular season. So obviously for Kar, Kuruvai, Swarnavari, uh, the varieties should be of short duration. So for that, we recommend ADT 53, CO 51, TPS 5 and CO 54. And uh, when you take this TPS 5, it is uh, uh, exclusively, I would say, it is for Kanyakumari, that is Kanipu season, uh, Kanyakumari, Tirnalveri, because uh, they are more interested in uh, this bold grain type. And coming to CO 51, of course, it's a, a very good variety. It has got notified uh, in 13 other states other than uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. Obviously, it's a good variety. But now what I would request is it has already uh, has got its uh, uh, major stake in rice cultivation. Now that we have come out with uh, another variety, ADT 53, which is also of same duration. So uh, wherever people are growing uh, CO 51, at least in a phased manner, uh, we have to replace it with uh, uh, ADT 53. So the cooking quality is uh, still better than CO 51. Even for their own use, they can use this farmer's uh, uh, it is not only meant for uh, public uh, procurement system, one, not only for that, they, for even for their own domestic purpose, they can use this uh, ADT 53. And the TPS 5, what I want to suggest here is still uh, in uh, Vilpuram, Tanjavur, first season, uh, the 
very old variety ADT 37 is growing because of its grain quality. So see, as far as we uh, we all uh, very much know, the first season is exclusively meant for realizing higher yield. Much of the produce is not taken for any consumption also. It is only meant for procurement, especially in Delta zone. So whichever is giving the highest yield, that is the variety clicking over there. So with that concept only ADT 37 is grown. So usually the bold grain type giving higher yield. So to replace that, uh, we can recommend TPS 5 also. Even though uh, it was released for Southern districts, we can introduce this variety also in our Delta zone. I think slowly it is also picking up. Coming to CO54, it is also a short duration rice variety and it is yet to be notified for the purpose of FLD still it can be used. Last year only it was released. It has got uh, better yield that is the plant type is very good whenever the farmers uh, have a look at the variety immediately they will get uh, convinced and it is moderately resistant to uh, major pest and diseases coming to samba of course samba i think very exclusive regions are adopting this long duration varieties a delta zone and of course it includes sanjavur tiruvaru nagapatnam kadalur and part of salem will uh, come under this uh, uh, samba season and what i would say samba means everyone is impregnated with the idea it is only cr cr 1009 see please convince the farmers so alternate to CR1000, we have CR1000 sub 1. So that is meant for wherever there is a submergence. So that we can uh, recommend for uh, uh, Nagapatnam area, uh, uh, Thailand area. Now what I would suggest is please uh, recommend or popularize ADT51. So it is uh, giving 15% increased yield. I will show the pictures also in my subsequent slides. So I would request my special request uh, uh, to the uh, KVKs in the Delta zone uh, to popularize this ADT51 in place of uh, uh, CR. And ADT50, that was also an old variety, uh, it, it has got even medium slender grain type, somehow it did not click well. So if any of the farmers approaching you for a long duration paddy variety with a, a kind of a medium slender type of grain type, please recommend ADT50, right? And uh, late samba, of course, it is also again uh, uh, more area under uh, late samba that is in Delta, we call it as uh, uh, Taladi. So both an, in uh, uh, Tiruvallur, Kanjiburam, in that region, East Coast region, as well as in Delta region, uh, uh, this particular uh, season is adopted. So for that, uh, you know, whenever we talk about this late samba or Taladi, we, you people will bombard with us with uh, breeders because BPT is the major variety. Now you know the fate of uh, uh, BPT and we have seen it uh, uh, in person that in and around Trichy College, in Trichy district, most of the BPT area is covered by, uh, it's uh, substituted by Trichy 3 because last two years uh, they have burnt their fingers because of this heavy incidence of blast and other diseases. So uh, before all these things, I want to make one point very clear, please, uh, all the SMS and program coordinators, first when you talk about the varieties to the farmers, please uh, make that one important message is uh, carried over to them. That is, whatever varieties, crop varieties released from TNAU or Fiend tolerant to most of the major pest and disease. See, these varieties are not uh, released just overnight. The, the plants are studied for at least for 10 years. So it is undergoing all kinds of stresses. It is uh, uh, tested in multi environments. So that when we see as per our uh, uh, TNAU's uh, norms, you know, we don't uh, release a variety unless and otherwise it is having field tolerance for major pest and disease. Of course, you may ask about this uh, false nut in one or two varieties that is the uh, recent disease that has become major right so the very first message you have to convey to the farmers is whatever varieties released from TNAU is or 
moderately resistant or field tolerant you use the word field tolerant to major pest and disease so because of that they need not to spray any pesticide or the fungicide unnecessarily that thereby they can cut down the cult uh, cultivation expenditure so because they get 10 paisa or 10 rupees extra for bpt they say it's an income but it, the income can be realized even if you cut short your expenditure so this is the major information you have to pass on to the farmers who are all approaching you so here now we have a different uh, cafeteria of varieties because this late samba and taladi so the duration, uh, the farmers, so a tail end area will go for late planting. In the first older delta, they will start the planting very early. So the duration should be 125 to 140 days. That, so that's the duration preferred for this particular season. Now that we have two very good medium duration varieties, that is 135 days, we have CO52 and ADT54. And uh, when you want to uh, uh, go, go for late planting, you please recommend TKM 13 or VGD1. And when it is uh, uh, it's a problematic soil with salinity or alkalinity, we can recommend Trichy 3 or Trichy 4. Here also, now that we have two choices, even in saline group, we have one 135 days duration as well as 125 days duration. So other thing is, wherever ADT 39 is predominant, you can uh, very confidently recommend Trichy 4 in place of ADT 39. And coming to Navare, so this is a very uh, limited space, a limited area only under uh, uh, Kode uh, summer uh, irrigated paddy. Again, this is Delta and parts of uh, Thiruvallur and Kanchiburam. So here also, I would recommend uh, ADT 53 would be ideal for summer rather than this uh, CO 51 and TPS 5. TPS 5. Uh, so summer, even though I have given these varieties as they are short duration, as far as uh, this uh, summer irrigated is concerned, uh, my first recommendation would be ADT 53. And uh, uh, you can see the productivity trend in India and Tamil Nadu. So we are always, uh, say this blue line is indicating the productivity of uh, uh, India. And you can look at the productivity of Tamil Nadu. Even though we experienced a drought during 2012 and 2016, still uh, uh, we, have, we were able to show increased average yield when compared to all India average. So, so that might be due to the varieties, but still you imagine still we are able to cover with uh, uh, newer varieties, more area under newer varieties, still the graph will be somewhere in the peak. So new varieties for specific traits, I have concised whatever I had discussed earlier. So if you want to have the highest productivity, so the highest productivity as of now, I will say uh, that is uh, CO50. That is uh, mere yield only I require means uh, CO50 followed by Trichy 3 and 1009 sub 1, ADT 51. And uh, see these are all here, this uh, ADT 53 is uh, medium slender, ADT 54 medium slender, uh, and uh, CO51 medium slender, CO52 medium slender, CO53 is a bold type. So these are all the varieties identified for higher productivity. And very frequently uh, disturbing climatic feature that is the drought. So for that, now we have two varieties. Now, instead of ANA4, even I would uh, advise you to go for CO53. This is the message, especially for Ramnad and uh, Sivaganga and also for Virudhunagar KVKs. And coming to salinity, uh, now, as I told, uh, we have all the duration, early duration, that is uh, short duration, medium duration, and mid-late duration, mid-early duration. Uh, so, Trichy 2, uh, whenever, uh, see, uh, I, I would like to tell you this uh, Trichy 2, you no, know, the short duration is especially required for uh, Nagapatnam and uh, Tiruvarur, you no, know, after they go for some summer paddy, uh, for which the salinity, during that time, the salinity level will be high. 
so the variety should be of uh, a short duration for those places please recommend trichy tea even trichy too even though it's a, a old variety uh, now we are trying to release an alternate variety for trichy too one or two years will be releasing till then you can uh, promote the trichy too we have some uh, uh, concrete results previously for this trichy too मैडम मैं तो ऑडियो मिस आ रहा हूँ मैडम ऑडियो आ रहा है मैडम ऑडियो एवलो नहीं आ रहा सर वाला है इप्पर दा इप्पर दा फ्यू सेकेंड्स ओके आई पे नाउ यू कैन गो हेड मैडम so uh, see the the major obstacle uh, during the second season is the uh, incidence of blast which considerably reduces the productivity of the crop now that we have got very good feed tolerant medium slender grain type the rice varieties like uh, co52 and adt54 you can promote uh, uh, see i think this blast resistance uh, especially is required for uh, this uh, madurai gudaluri area and uh, kanyakumari and dharmapuri krishnagiri wherever the uh, uh, night temperature is uh, uh, very low of course salem also so those places can concentrate on these two uh, blast tolerant rice varieties so coming to the uh, details of the each variety which we had been discussing so far so now i'll simply uh, 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 tell the farmers whenever i meet the farmers i would say this adt53 is an exact alternate for adt43 so the adt43 we used to call it as adisey punni uh, you can see the crop here adt43 and uh, adt53 so it is giving uh, 10% increase yield but uh, uh, as though uh, even though it is a good variety i would like to give caution also so this adt53 is uh, uh, already is a, a good plant type so you need not apply excess fertilizer so whenever you uh, apply excess fertilizer it tends to lodge also so when uh, whenever you want to popularize this uh, wherever uh, you are popularizing this adt53 uh, please underline the message that you have to give optimum uh, fertilizer as per the uh, soil Soil test results. So when you give more uh, fertilizer, it might lodge also. But it is very ideal for summer season. Summer season, the lodging tendency we could not see. So I have uh, given the plus as well as the weakness of this particular uh, variety also. And it is field tolerant to blast, sheath rot, BPH, and uh, leaf folder. So uh, even yes. so i have collected some clippings from uh, uh, kvk uh, websites also and uh, see this adt53 in farmers in tanjavur uh, my many of the coordinators uh, coordinators might be knowing these farmers also it has given 6.3 tonnes in uh, nagapatnam uh, it has given uh, 6.4 tonnes and another feature here is even though uh, it is not uh, going to fetch any premium price by the virtue of the fact it has got higher quantity of zinc also compared to other uh, tna you released varieties it has got uh, uh, higher uh, uh, zinc content in this variety and why i am showing this slide is first tanjavur uh, uh, we have uh, demonstrated see this co51 is a popular variety uh, it is given consistently giving higher yield over the co51 for that only see in all the we have tested i am showing the uh, 15 fld results especially in uh, tanjavur and nagapatnam trichy on the whole maybe the uh, delta zone in all the places it is giving high 
higher yield, uh, starting from 4.6 to 12.1 percent increased yield. And next variety is uh, CO51. It is already planted. Of course, Kurvai already uh, it is planted here. I would like to give another caution for this particular variety. Uh, please advocate that it should be uh, dried properly. So even it is uh, going to be for the consumption purpose or for the seed purpose. So this particular variety, it is advisable to have additional attention to reduce the moisture content in the rice grains. As per our seed technologies, the moisture content should be 10%. See, for other uh, varieties, we, we don't bother even if it touches 12% or 12.5. Why I'm saying is, see, even if it is uh, uh, going for procurement, you might you you might be uh, let to store it for some time okay so on that condition uh, some insects will attack because the moisture is more means the, there is a attraction for some of the angiomyces moth also so even though it's a high yielding no doubt in that it's a very high yielding that's why it has spread to 13 states but another uh, plus so i have to tell the uh, uh, weakness of this variety also so please advocate or advise your farmers whenever co 51 is raised it might be for grain purpose or it might be for seed purpose better to uh, dry it properly and uh, test whether it is 10 percent so number 12 percent na while kadich paatha solluvom and the colloquial 10 percent na eppadi irukonu you can demonstrate to the farmers and uh, uh, Nagamangalam, uh, yes, it, this is the last year yield state seed form. We have recorded 5.25 percent, uh, 5. uh, 5,250 kgs per hectare in the state seed form. And coming to the another variety, this particular CO53, as I mentioned earlier, I, I recommend this variety for the drought prone areas, especially for southern districts. And that too for Ramnad, uh, Sivaganga, and uh, parts of uh, Virudhunagar. See, uh, this is the one uh, uh, very exemplary evidence you can see. This is BPT, the Uttrakosa Mangai in uh, uh, Ramnad district. And uh, this is BPT and this is CO53 because of its earliness, you know, BPT matures in 135, 140 days. It matures in 110 days, 115 days. So it escaped the drought and uh, uh, farmers were able to harvest a good yield out of this when we had this uh, FLD. And uh, you can see the root length of this uh, uh, CO53 compared to Anna 4. So the root length is more so that only it is more uh, drought tolerant. It is having the blood from Norungan also, very old traditional variety. So it's a bold variety. So uh, this time, uh, last time itself, uh, uh, it got notified. So you can go ahead with this variety, especially in uh, uh, Ramnad and Sivaganga. It can be a good replacement for Annapur. It is even maturing five days early, five ten days earlier than uh, Annapur. And coming to uh, TPS five, it's an alternate variety for uh, ASD sixteen. And uh, uh, in ma major blocks of Kanyakumari districts, it has uh, shown very good uh, results. Uh, uh, Raja, Rajakka, Mangalam, and uh, Takkare and Tovale, it has uh, shown good uh, uh, improvement in yield, but still it also, this variety is also uh, quite high yielding. The adoption rate is uh, not as expected. And uh, this is, of course, it is taking some five to seven days uh, extra when compared to ASD 16. It may choose some five to 10 days. Uh, uh, see, some places they say I get a mixed feedback also. It is maturing early. So uh, you, you cannot expect the exact uh, growth duration of ASD 16, even though it is also meant for this uh, 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 southern districts for the first season or for the late season. And coming to ADT 51, and this is the year 1009 and ADT 51, you can see the uh, crop stand. It's a potential samba variety. Please uh, uh, popularize this variety with the high yield. 
and uh, the highest yield we have recorded uh, even 10 tonnes per hectare field tolerance for blast so far we have see cr 1009 also we have received the reports for blast susceptibility but this particular variety we have not received any complaint with regard to blast susceptibility so ideal for our uh, delta zone so these are all uh, various places. I think some of the KVK members may might also find a place in these uh, pictures. And uh, it is giving easily, it is giving seven tonnes per hectare. And other features, you know, it is highly, uh, uh, see what, uh, yeah, I wanted to mention, even for the low fertile soils of Delta zone, please recommend this variety. It is a, a nutrient deficient variety. Many farmers have uh, exchanged, uh, that is shared their opinion that uh, even uh, when uh, we did, when we skipped one fertilizer or not two fertilizer application also, it was giving the same level of yield. So that means it is a nutrient uh, uh, efficient variety. So uh, you can advocate or advise the farmers whenever you give this variety and uh, go for the very exact quantity of variety and it can be recommended for low fertile soils also, especially for nitrogen, low nitrogen fields. You can comfortably recommend this particular variety and uh, it's good for, see, uh, order of the day is going in for uh, uh, direct seeding using the seed sowing machines so this would be ideal for uh, uh, direct screening also so these are all uh, they say it is free from pests and diseases and the uh, identity is a typical angular boot leaf okay you can identify this particular variety angle boot leaf will be uh, angular in shape and 1009 sub 1, so it is. Uh, it was exclusively for the submergent fields where it can tolerate at the time of seedling stage, you know, when it is in seedling stage, it can, even though it is submerged with the water for 15 days, it can tolerate. So it, very quickly it will regain its greenness and uh, resume its growth. So this is the one submergence in pre-flowering stage in uh, uh, Tirtrai Pundi. So this particular, uh, uh, you can see the grains in the field, but uh, it has crossed a critical stage of getting submerged for 10 days just before the flowering. Even though uh, it was subjected to submergence, it has given higher yield. So coming to the variety ADT54, uh, so we have the uh, very popular variety improved white pony, but uh, two minus points in that variety. One is lodging, another one is blast susceptibility. Those two uh, defects have been overcome in this particular ADT54 variety. And uh, you can see the cooking quality also, cooking quality of this variety. So wherever uh, farmers are looking for an alternate for for, uh, improved white pony please recommend this ADT 54 cooking quality is also very good and it is uh, uh, blast resistant we have confirmed uh, the blast resistance at molecular level also with uh, uh, with the help of SSR markers for the blast resistance genes and coming to VGD1, I think uh, I need not elaborate anything we have talked enough and enough about this VGD1 but one caution here is uh, please see that uh, it is planted in appropriate. Uh, so uh, many farmers, when they delay the planting to uh, November or December, no, it is not giving the best results. It is very sensitive to the time of planting. So it is uh, highly recommended to complete the planting before October. The best will be October 15th. And okay, so if at all any uh, some uh, problems, unavoidable circumstances, not later than this October 31st. Another one is uh, please, whenever you uh, give the seeds of this VGD1, also caution them about this uh, fall assessment. It is susceptible to a certain extent. Last year we have witnessed. So give them the prophylactic measures also for this variety, this VGD1 and CO50. So for both the varieties, whenever uh, you advise or whenever you give the advisory to the farmers, also add that you should take some prophylactic measures for uh, overcoming or uh, escaping this uh, false assessment. 
so the uh, vgd1 you know that uh, volume expansion is quite high even it is uh, higher than the uh, seeraga samba seeraga samba la we get hardly 2.1 kilo arisi potta we will get uh, uh, 3 kg of rice or 2.5 kg of rice here if, uh, we are able to give to the max get the uh, to the maximum of 3.5 kg that is vol volume expansion is high and uh, duration is less so that we can save some water by reducing the duration from the original seeraga samba 15 20 days we can skip one irrigation and you know the quantum of water we can save uh, by skipping one irrigation and uh, co 52 this what uh, that is what i told the plant type is very attractive no farmer Uh, will deny to take up this variety and you can see the uh, grain uh, architecture and number of grains because of which one it is giving higher yield and it is also blast resistant uh, uh, we have confirmed it with uh, molecular markers also and even it has uh, uh, people from andhra i i took all these pictures from your uh, Uh, kvk's uh, website only and this is uh, tiruvallur uh, as that is in andhra pradesh one of the farmers has raised he has given an interview that it is doing very well and similarly in tiruvallur with the intervention of uh, kvk tiruvallur that is tirur kuppam uh, the, this farmer is also giving good feedback about this uh, uh, variety and you can see the kadalur also they say it could be an alternate for uh, bpt and this is from uh, kvk thiru they are also giving positive report and coming to foco 50 i would say this is high yielding but a bold grain so merely for uh, it, so i mostly this will go mostly for the procurement so very high yield if they want to realize we can uh, give the advice to uh, go for this uh, co 50 and here also as i mentioned earlier you should give the caution about this uh, false mud otherwise it's a good variety and uh, there is so here it's a lodging type so uh, proper care should be taken more water should not be there so it's also a yeah, it is also having that lodging tendency and tkm 13 i think i need not uh, uh, say anything about this already it is becoming popular and uh, mediums he here what i would uh, caution see better talking better talking about uh, uh, minus points also of the varieties also so that we can overcome those uh, defects so here it is uh, susceptible to uh, uh, blb and blast to a certain extent so appropriate plant protection measure should be taken for this tkm 13 so initially i mentioned most of the varieties are uh, field tolerant for major pest and disease but while talking about some of the varieties i myself would have pointed out some of the very key diseases that they are succumb to so here coming to tkm 13 it is a good variety it matures in 120 125 days i think it has uh, got a Good take off, even though just to sustain this variety for some more years. What I would advise is uh, advise the farmers to take appropriate plant protection measures. You educate them uh, the symptoms about uh, uh, BLB as well as about this uh, uh, blast. So whenever they see the uh, symptoms at the early stage, if uh, measures are taken, uh, there will not be no harm for this variety. so good farmers feedback and these are all the things i have collected from your uh, uh, website only success stories and other things and coming to uh, trichy 3 so uh, this is for uh, uh, salt saline uh, saline alkaline soil so so it can tolerate alkalinity up to the level of 9.5 ph and exchangeable sodium percentage i think to to my knowledge it is uh, tolerating up to 40 esp so here also whenever you grow this variety please advise them so whenever there is a, especially for sikkal dharmapuri and uh, nagapatnam tiruvarur and uh, here you no know, tiruvallur kanchipuram wherever kadalur wherever we have this salt patches if possible 
if possible farmers can raise the seedling with good quality water so the seedling pi nursery pannala evlo ipo techniques irukku so we have to combine the technologies so that will give additional uh, uh, benefit you know with the varieties it can enhance the performance of the varieties instead of raising the nursery in the same uh, salt affected soil you can advise them you can give a suggestion wherever there is a possibility they can go for the pi nursery or uh, uh, some good quality water uh, receiving feeds so that will enhance the performance of the variety and what i would request is especially uh, tirupati saram uh, kv case uh, uh, tps3 is a very good variety very popular variety uh, what a pet variety of uh, kanya marietans but what i would suggest is trichy tree is also doing well i have seen the crop somehow it has not got picked up uh, when uh, kvk is iriyavan uh, avungala irukum bodhu they had been promoting it but we see the possibility uh, to bring uh, trichy tree as an alternate for tps3 for uh, uh, block specific that is uh, it, it 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 may not uh, uh, perform well in all blocks of kanyakumari so you please uh, identify the blocks where this trichy tree could also perform better and it is uh, i would say uh, this is very good for idli making see uh, and i would confidently say among the tna varieties this is the best uh, idli making varieties we have proven it with uh, uh, many meetings many experiments somehow it has not taken now one farmer in tanjavur might be uh, needa mangalam uh, pc might be knowing one uh, mr asay tambi he has uh, grown it and made it as rice and he is selling it now he says uh, very good feedback he is receiving so uh, that that is very ideal for uh, idli making what they what he says is he gets more uh, quantity of uh, flour after uh, uh, fermentation when it combined with uh, urad uh, Uh, flow also better okay so it is this is good for avel making also so wherever uh, the problem of salinity is there but when na solvanga na when we adopt this machine planting the plant suffers because nariya tiller varum ainala machine vandu it takes some extra time nariya tiller irukatnala adu vetrathukku it takes thanarudhu nu solvanga so that is also uh, some of the feedbacks i have received from the farmers so and uh, see this tava prakash uh, uh, from kanyakumari he uh, he himself has published so trichy 3 a high rainfall zone uh, he is also recommending this trichy 3 in place of uh, tps3 and uh, salt affected uh, soil i think it is also the people from kvk they have uh, uh, reported uh, trichy 3 paddy registered better yield under uh, 6.37 tonnes okay so krishi vigyan kendra virudachalam it is so there are reports but in reality the pickup of the variety looks a little bit uh, lower so again salem also uh, uh, there was a report this uh, variety is doing well uh, suitable for alkali soil okay so these reports have been made by our own scientists only not by the breeders by the kvk scientists and uh, trichy 4 uh, it is a newly released variety so here the duration is less 125 as d uh, uh, pointed out when it was raised in uh, salem kvk i think salem pc is also they Uh, where there is a problem of uh, quality of uh, uh, irrigation water that is uh, 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 there is a contamination from sago factory and the dye industries which has spoiled the soil in that uh, the strichy 4 has given better results compared to uh, tkm 30 and the potential even in lalgudi they have given uh, the highest yield they have uh, recorded and the main thing is uh, not only in tnau when it went for all india coordinated trial overall uh, remark is it is having multiple resistance for leaf folder stem borer gall mitch blast and brown spot that is added advantage of uh, this particular variety so you can see this is tkm 13 under salinity uh, uh, in trichy i think manigandam block this is uh, 
I think it is in Kuttalam. Sorry, Kuttalam. Uh, this is TKM thirteen, and this is Trichy four. Because of this biomass, it is uh, able to tolerate the uh, uh, salinity. And coming to Co fifty four, it's a short duration variety, and it is of course it is yet to be notified. I'm taking all efforts to get the notification at the earliest possible time. Uh, Salem it has given the highest yield of uh, seven point two tonnes per hectare. And we have got one hybrid also, CO4. Uh, I am not recommending very strongly because it's a, a very good hybrid. But uh, in some of the places, even with the varieties, we are getting highest yield. So that only I am not giving much emphasis for that. But uh, states like Bihar, Chhattisgarh, they don't have good varieties, inbred varieties. So uh, they opt for these kind of hybrids. And ADT fifty five wherever you see if you foresee that there would be incidence of BLB you can uh, go in for this variety. So that's all about the varieties. I 